On behalf of the Human Rights Campaign and our three million members and supporters nationwide, we're here today to firmly oppose the nominations of Thomas Farr and Kyle Duncan. Todd already addressed so eloquently um, the record of Thomas Farr that all I'm going to say on that is we completely concur and leave it at that. But I want to build on the statements from Sharon and Harper Jean talking about Kyle Duncan. This is not a man who is an average civil servant in his time in government. Not someone who maybe had some qualms about the role that he played. This is not a man who is an average firm attorney who occasionally has a client that he disagrees with. Instead, Kyle Duncan is a gun for hire who has made his career about targeting LGBTQ people in every aspect of our lives. He went from civil service where he proudly, proudly denied a child the ability to be fully a part of his dad's families to a civil, I'm sorry, to a government attorney, private attorney, taking 14 states and making sure that their voices were heard, even though he didn't have to, in opposition to the Supreme Court decision in Obergefell versus Hodges. He opposed marriage equality so strongly that he wanted to be the face of that opposition for states who wanted to weigh in. After the Obergefell decision, Kyle Duncan also questioned the court. He raised questions as to its legitimacy and demonstrated over and over again that if the court chose not to rule consistent with his personal beliefs, that it was appropriate to attack the courts rather than recognize the sound legal reasoning that the courts invoked. When he engaged to deny lesbian couples in Arkansas the ability to be recognized as the full legal parents of their child, he was overturned by the Supreme Court, but it wasn't enough for him. Once again, he questioned the legitimacy of the court. This is not a man who can be a fair and impartial judge for all Americans. And that is what is at the heart of any nomination. People must be able to leave aside their personal views and to take every case that comes before them on the merits of the case and on the laws before them. That's not to say judges shouldn't have any heart in the matter, but they have to look at how their decisions will affect every American in the moment and in the years to come. Kyle Duncan has never demonstrated his ability to do this. Sadly, neither has Thomas Farr. Both have stood staunchly against the civil rights of Americans across this country. And mark my words, we are far from over litigating civil rights in this country. Were that we could snap our fingers and guarantee civil rights for all, but that's not what's going to happen. The courts are going to be the arbiters of civil rights for African Americans, for women, for LGBTQ people as the days march on. We must continue to oppose these two nominees and demand that our senators listen to the warnings that we heed and reject these two despicable nominees. Thank you.